My son's first and my work with the UN is very important to me and gives me a sense of purpose as a human being that makes me feel useful and centered. And um, and everything else is, is, is fun and wonderful and I love making movies, but I don't take it so seriously. So. Female action hero because it's usually male dominated. Um, you know, I've never underestimated women. I see women as strong. I always have, so um, it's felt just natural for a woman to do something like this. I didn't I don't think she's an extraordinary woman, I think she is woman. Well, in the first film, is, uh, the first Tomb Raider went to Cambodia, and that was the first time I understood certain things about the world and the history of that country, and obviously it changed my life, and my son's now Cambodia, and we live in Cambodia, so it's affected me in, in a huge way. Um, but always traveling the world is, is, I think, the most important thing a person can do, is to understand other countries and cultures more than anything. I think people need to do more of that. both love to travel. I think she's a crazy sense of adventure and um, she loves other countries and other cultures and she's a bit fearless and wild and nuts. And I think I have a bit of that. Uh, and, uh, and she'd fight to the death for something she believed in or someone she cared about and, uh, and I would too. So. Going to a, a country that's covered, riddled with landmines and has been through war and you start to become aware of, when you become aware of the world you become aware of how much uh, it needs to be done or how much uh, people are going through and so you naturally do then start to want to do something to help. Me personally? Yeah. Me personally, I'm not dating, <laughs> period. <laughs> but so. would, would it be a character, of, do you like a rough and ready sort of, yeah. I think I'd probably have this, I think I'd like the adventure of, yeah, I mean, I'd like a man of action and a man of adventure and um, fight. Mm. But uh, I'd probably have the same problems with that kind of a man that she does, mm. with uh, where, he, where he stands and what he actually believes in. Mm. I just want to live honestly and openly, and I don't want to think about uh, being careful for press. Because I think it's a bad mindset to get in. You start to come up with some idea of how you should represent yourself or some kind of. And I'm just a very, uh, I'm a very honest, open person. So I, I prefer to be that way and get in trouble in the press than to censor myself. Even if the press would make up rumors about you. Well, well, they'll always make up rumors. Mm. They make up some funny ones. <laughs> um, I think the first one was was more of a fantasy, and um. And to be honest, we were establishing so much, and we didn't have a, as good of a grasp on what exactly these films are. And I, and I think we've really figured her out more on this one. And it's a it's a really solid action adventure that has a plot and themes and solid characters. And um, and she doesn't always win easy. And um, you know, I just think it's a better film. No, I haven't seen the new game. I'm, I'm I. I think the games are wonderful. I just don't play them. I don't. Ha I don't play computer games. I don't. I'm not good at them. I'm fortunate that I get to jump inside them and mess around and get dirty. It's a, it's a pretty great job when you get all these uh, teachers from around the world and these rigs and things and it's like joining the circus and you get to do these amazing things you'd never get to do in life. So so I'm taking full advantage of that. Excellent. Were there any accidents? You know, do you, do you know I did have a few accidents. Yeah, I'm missing a piece of my right elbow. Oh. So. <laughs> Which I'm sure I'll, I'll be 60 years old and annoyed about the Tomb Raider <laughs> films. My. <laughs> so how did that happen? What happened? Um, I'm not allowed to say because then I can't do that stunt anymore for insurance. So I'm keeping that quiet. <laughs>